Hey guys, I'm back with another Pick a Pile Crystal reading. So, today I'm back with three piles, one Oracle card, one Whispers of Healing card, and one Empath Empowerment Message card. These are piles one, two, and three. Pile one has a piece of amethyst. Pile two has a beautiful piece of tiger's eye. And pile three has a beautiful piece of labradorite. So I'm going to tell you. So go ahead and pick a pile, pick a crystal that calls to you, that you're drawn to immediately. And that will be your pile. And I'm going to go first with pile number one. So pile number one has a beautiful, gorgeous piece of amethyst. Isn't that beautiful? Amethyst is the February birthstone. Amethyst works for the third eye chakra. It is a symbol of peace, cleaning and calming. Amethyst protects against negative energies, produces soothing dreams, brings clarity and peacefulness to the awakening mind to help intuition flow freely. Amethyst helps keep a balanced mindset, draws out infection if laid on the sick and dispels rage, fear, anger and anxiety. Isn't that beautiful? All right. We're going to put that one there. And I'm going to pick the first card. Oops. Yeah. The first card from pile number one is Chaos and conflict card number 33 chaos and conflict so i'm going to set that there i'm working on getting in this little i just from amazon ordered a little stand that i can use to um to do my pick a pile readings where it holds the cards up so that you can see them better so i'm anxiously awaiting that guy <clears throat> all right so, chaos and conflict's essential meaning is disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. The oracle message for chaos and conflict is, opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere, but consider the value of chaos that serves you well, as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a, in a moment in time when you may need to take shelter, step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than be understood. So that's beautiful chaos and conflict. I'm sorry about the glare. Card number 33. Okay. Next, we've got So for pile number 1, your whispers of healing oracle card is flow. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. 
I wish I already had my stand so that I could set it up to where it would be easier to see while I read. Okay. Flow. This card is about manifestation. It is wonderful to know that you can release your unhappiness. Please trust that you hold the power to be happy. Your healing is hinged on how you view your world. If you feel unhappy or unlucky, you may benefit from committing to a more positive attitude. You have fallen into a pattern of limited thinking that doesn't allow you to see your inner beauty. This card also suggests that you often find yourself in situations that trigger past issues. Perhaps it is time for you to heal those issues. Be open to the messages and signs that are continually part of your reality. Allow yourself to see your blessings. Trust that you are given opportunities to grow and learn so you can release what doesn't work and call in what your true desires are. Be open to the messages and signs that are continually part of your reality. Allow yourself to see your blessings. Trust that you are given opportunities to grow and learn so that you can release what doesn't work and call in what your true desires are. The waterfall in this image is illustrative of renewal of life changes. The dragonflies represent your deeper thoughts and address a need to live more freely. The butterflies symbolize the soul. Your journey is, sorry, your soul is on a journey of transformation. On your journey, you will come across lessons and sudden changes that may shift your perspective and bring you closer to alignment. At this moment, your ability to manifest is amplified. Determine what is, it is you desire and get to work to make it happen. I just got to hold that card up one more time. It's just absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. With the dragonflies and the butterflies and the beautiful waterfall. And look at the sky. Wow. All right. And your card pile number one, your empath empowerment message is you can handle this. There is a wise saying you are never given more than you can handle. Tune into your heart to reconnect with your strength. beautiful message. We'll leave the message on top. There we go. All right, on to pile number two. We have a beautiful, gorgeous chunk of Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye works for the solar plexus. It is the June birthstone. Something cool about Tiger's Eye, warriors in ancient times, valued this stone to provide protection and strength and omnipotence. Tiger's eye brings good fortune, courage, power, and integrity. It removes emotional blockages and transforms toxic feelings into more positive ones. It helps remove, or sorry, helps you to remember and to accomplish whatever you put your mind to. So this is good for memory and accomplishment. Isn't that beautiful? I love Tiger's Eye. It's very protective. This is a very protective stone. All right. I'll put that there. And we will start with card number one in our pile. This card... is thinker card number 44 which is weird because the first pile had card number 33 so this is card number 44 and i don't know why but i feel like this was in the last pick a pile reading but like i said these are random picks so this message must need to hit somebody that it didn't either it didn't hit last time or it needs to reiterate if you picked it last time thinker look at the cute little fairy is she not adorable she's a thinking 
Okay, the essential, the essential, sorry, message for the thinker card is strategy, being analytical, and logical. The oracle message is the ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Very cool message. All right. And the whispers of healing message is learning learning card number 25 learning so adorable i love the little ladybug sitting on the piece of wheat so adorable i'm going to put it this way okay <clears throat> learning as humans we are perpetually learning and growing Learning to handle emotions comes from attentiveness. Managing stress, anxiety, and anger is a learned skill. Understand what sets off your distress or anger. Choose how you will respond to your triggers more effectively. Persist with this approach until it becomes an automatic response. You may feel you are resistant to learning the lesson at hand. The reason for resistance varies. It may be stubbornness, habit, or self-destructive patterns. During times of conflict, your lesson may be more crisis-oriented. You may be in denial about something in your life. It can be hard to face your fears and admit weakness. Issues may build to a point where you need to address your reactions. Be honest with yourself. Are you in an addictive cycle? Are you accepting responsibility for your role in this situation? You may need an outside source to help you break out of a pattern. Once you recognize an unhealthy pattern, you can learn how to improve your existing situation. Try new approaches and be open to not knowing what will happen next. Ask to learn this lesson with grace. A child holds a single stalk of wheat with a ladybug on it. What denotes the use of caution and wisdom? Or wheat denotes the use of caution and wisdom. The child studies the ladybug to learn what she is going to do. The ladybug represents delight and a knowing that cannot be taught. Can you remember how you were as a child? Children are often able to create exactly what they want through positive thinking, resourcefulness, and persistence. Throughout life, you have learned to doubt and fear. Be like a child, willing to learn and in awe of the world around you. The butterflies in this picture are symbols of transformation. If you are willing to work on this situation, transformation is inevitable. The prevalence of green means healing and abundance are not far from you. Beautiful message. All right. And your empath empowerment message is experience the passion of fire. Reignite your life force by gazing into a cozy fire, recharging in the sunlight or lighting a candle. Allow fire to spark your vision and vitality. Experience the passion of fire. So light a candle. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, next, for pile number three, we have a beautiful piece of Labradorite. Lab Labradorite, sorry. <laughs> Labradorite. I have a really hard time with that word. This stone is pretty special. This one actually hits the root, solar plexus, heart, throat, and third eye chakra it's got all those colors in it and this is the november birthstone 
So, labradorite, <laughs> it's okay, you can laugh at me, is the most powerful protector, creating a shielding force through the aura, strengthening natural energies from within. It protects against negativity and misfortunes of this world. It provides safe exploration into alternative levels of consciousness and facilitates visionary experiences from the past or the future. That's really cool. Isn't it gorgeous? Some people call it dragon's eye. Isn't that beautiful? Some people call it a, um, like I said, some people call it dragon's eye. Kind of looks like a dragon's eye. All right. Pile number three, Wisdom of the Oracle card is a change in the wind. A change in the wind, card number 12. I just love that. A change in the wind, card number 12. All right. Sorry, I gotta straighten these out or I will get anxiety. I'm trying to make it to where you can see it though. There we go. Okay. The essential meaning to this card is a sense that unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. Okay. The oracle message for this card is, it's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change, to want the world to remain consistent like a zebra stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The only thing guaranteed now is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. I love that message. Okay. And pile number three. Your whispers of healing oracle message is barriers. Isn't that a beautiful card? Look at that. Card number 13, barriers. Look at her riding on that dragon. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. All right, barriers. You have created barriers or defense mechanisms that may be preventing emotional or mental healing. The universe is eagerly waiting and willing to assist you with your healing, but you may not be receiving the healing you desire. Something seems to be blocking or hindering your restoration. The obstacle may be a protective measure you have put in place to keep your heart from further harm. This shield may seem necessary and logical. However, it is also preventing the healing light being sent to you from penetrating and healing your pain. Defense mechanisms are a response to being wronged, hurt, rejected, abandoned, or abused. You may have a mental vow not to allow yourself to feel a certain type of pain again. Once the block is in place, you may find it very difficult to talk about certain situations or to receive corrective information about your experience. By identifying the root cause of your defense mechanism, healing can begin. You need to be willing to tear down the walls you have built so that healing can occur. A woman rides high on the back of a dragon in the middle of the ocean. The shoreline is covered with jagged rocks and looks completely unapproachable. Smoke comes from the dragon's mouth as if he might breathe fire at any moment. 
You have created a similar type of energy with the walls you've built around you. Remember, fear does not keep you safe. Be willing to make changes. Talk to someone about what you're harboring so your healing process can begin. The full moon shines her light on whatever it is you're ready to release. The turbulent water shows this may not be easy for you to do. However, the same turbulent water can be cleansing and will help you move forward. The stars in the sky are your blessings. They suggest there are many sources that will help you become free. Beautiful. Barriers. Funny how it mentions uh, shield in here um, that you create to uh, protect yourself when this little guy right here talks about providing a shield for the aura. I totally, this is random, completely random, these cards that I pick and the crystals that I put on them. So I think that's cool how that came out. All right, and your empath empowerment message is look at the stars look up and remember that you are but a tiny speck in a large mysterious universe let the magic of the stars connect you to your own special magic look at the stars so go out and look at the stars tonight if you pick pile number three all right Okay, guys, I hope this helped. Unconditional love and healing to you all. Namaste.